for the song Harati Siko from the movie Naam Hai Bas and today I will be teasing you the strumming pattern of the song and the riff which is present between the song 1 and song 2 or first intro and let's check out the chord of the song the song is started from the B flat uh, scale B flat major scale you can play here in the A form and you can also play in the here A form and other chord you need to know are uh, G sharp G sharp major and F sharp major and uh, D sharp D sharp chord or here in place of the D sharp you can use C minor also the related chord but uh, I find uh, the D sharp using D sharp melody as and you should um, use D minor D sharp minor in the A minor form and other chord are similar other now let's check out the string pattern of the song. The song is in 4x4 timing and by hearing the drum beat of the background, uh, I think this string pattern is used in most of the part and in most of the, in some of the section there is used the variation of this string pattern also and the string pattern goes like this. strumming pattern and the strumming pattern is in 4x4 timing and which means uh, you should stroke or down stroke or up stroke in 1, 2, 3, 4. Down stroke and up stroke is divided in 1, 2, 3, 4 and the strumming pattern is like this down, down, up, up, down, down and uh, you should uh, mute the uh, in the second part and the while going first up first up like this and second second down is strong down down up up down 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 up up down down one two three four one two three four like and I am uh, showing you down 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 mute up up down down in, in the first up you should mute the up up down down you should hear the bass string uh, low first low down here and down in the low and up up down down and you can get a good effect if you are a beginner then uh, you can uh, strum without muting also but uh, the original is uh, you if you add uh, the muting effect you can hear the original rhythm of the song now I'm going to teach you the riff of the song which is present in the first intro and in the after the second intro also in this song and it is very beautiful. I love to play this riff and the riff is like this. <laughs> carefully on the fret because uh, I'm, I'm, I could not explain the fret uh, carefully or uh, you may not understand uh, me explaining uh, or uh, and they started from the B flat scale here the riff is started from the B flat scale and it is started from the fourth string third fret then six and in the third string three four three then again six on the fourth string and 3, 4 and 3rd in the 2nd string the 3, 4 in the 3rd string and 3 on the 3rd string and uh, it here like this and the next section of this riff is uh, same up to the uh, here or uh, here of the first part and I am going to show you and the, it is also started from the same string 4th string 3rd fret then 6 then uh, in the third string, uh, third, third fret, then four, three, and uh, here uh, six. Then again go back to third string, third fret, and then six, four, six, one, and this sound like this. If you go in the speed, I'm I'm again uh, showing you in the fourth string, third, six. And in 
the third string 3 4 3 then back to 6 fret on fourth string then again up to and again back to third fret on the third string then 6 4 6 1 and it is uh, and the next part is repeated for the uh, as uh, as same in the first section and you should eat in um, and at the end of the say uh, riff you should not play 6 4 6 1 you should eat in B flat like like this now I'm going to teach you the song uh, section how to play the song section of the chord the song progression in the song um, I'm sorry I could not play the background music because uh, YouTube has blamed me of a copyright infringement uh, when I taught you in the Janam Janam song from first to last uh, in the background music so I'm going to show you some section some chord progression and uh, in the starting uh, in the starting of the song one and you should go like this at first B flat and then for one bar and D sharp for one bar and G sharp for one bar and again B flat for one bar it is repeated but in, in place of G sharp you should use in the next uh, part you should use F sharp and in Tum Bi Tum Ho Ham Bi Ham Bi section you should, you should use B flat for one bar G sharp and F sharp then in, you should mute in G sharp and there comes the Halki Siko name in the section which is like this uh, I play here uh, the chord used at B flat G sharp then again go to B not B flat then B and B flat like this songs too uh, the chord are very easy and repeated as uh, in the song one also and you should use B flat for two bar two bar and D minor for two bar and then uh, after the after the same section is repeated for twice you should use G sharp then F minor F minor and again B flat and after that the, the section as same uh, you can use the chord uh, you have uh, used in the song song and if you need the full chord of the song then you can visit my blog I believe uh, the address below in the video description uh, please visit my blog uh, please comment uh, here also and please do not forget to subscribe if you like my work I'll be uploading more uh, latest uh, in the chord songs uh, tutorials uh, in the YouTube uh, thank you for watching this thank you very very much